afternoon, guys. Take a show of hands. We'll set the embargo towards the end for 10.30 on Sunday evening. So we'll have to start, please. Joe? Sorry. Hi. Uh, yeah. We were not solid like normally we are in, in terms for the, the well-organized defense and the transition, but especially we give away the first goal and other actions. But there is more the consequences for the fact that uh, three days, three days, three days, the, you know, the, the energy, mental energy that we waste more than physicality is tremendous. And, and that's why sometimes happen. But uh, today Kevin won the game. So in this type of game, sometimes it's Phil, sometimes it's early, sometimes it's Julian, sometimes it's, you know, the people up front. And today, Kevin, make a, without Kevin, today maybe we will not be able to win. So when we talk about tactics, about all oh, the managers and talk about, give me, give me players like, like, like Kevin in this kind of games is easy. Kevin is now back to no, I don't know. I've been five months out and have a good moment in games back, especially when I restart in Newcastle and other games, few minutes. And after that was not maybe it's best, but it's normal. But in the important games and have something like make an assist, score two goals, make another assist to early in the first half, unbelievable. So having a special, a really, really special talent for that. Yeah. And how important was it for Erling to get that goal today? Absolutely. Absolutely important. The strikers live for the goal, you know? And still today we could uh, we could find him more, especially in our right side, but our right side, uh, we could not see him because he moved really well, but yeah, it's fine. So unfortunately the second goal was not good concede, but the game, counting where we come from, so I'm really, really pleased for the, again, the, the players who they are still, they want to try it, they want to try it, and this is so important. Apart from the first goal of Crystal Palace, uh, we see that the team suffered a bit running back to your own goal, your area uh, in defense. Uh, how in, oh, what a problem could be this for the match on Tuesday uh, against Real Madrid, that they have so fast players of Niki or Rodrigo? About transitions. Yeah. yeah, I know. <laughs> I know the reason why it happened today. Of course, you are right. We have to try to fix it. Otherwise, it will be difficult. Because the quality, they have more a lot of qualities, but one of them is the the first place, the transition players have Real Madrid. Yeah. Okay. You mentioned about um, every day sometimes it's more mental. But this is a situation that obviously face every year, and normally you face it brilliantly. So, what kind of things? Do you have to do with this time of year? And what is it that the players do just to push through the regards? The difference between is because uh, we have more injured players than last season. They have Kyle and Nathan today here. So we'll be easier for today and for the future because I can give you more time to join, to recover, to make, make an incredible effort to, to play like maybe it was not. Uh, the contribution for Akanji was unbelievable. So. <laughs> So mainly the reason the reason is that so comparing previous season we want to fight we, we're going to try but it's difficult it's difficult when fight for all competitions for my experience I live these times many few times I'm lucky guy for that to arrive in the last stages of fighting for all competitions you are not all a squad is not and we have players for the friendly games playing 96 and 96 and 90 minutes and 94 minutes and 90 minutes in friendly games they are not here. Well, that is more difficult. I would say almost, almost mm -mm, no chance. Because you need everyone fresh and compete in them and, and do it. Because you can do it for a short time, but you know, it's after Madrid and after come back, Luton, three days Madrid again, and after going three days to FA Cup semi-final against Chelsea, when you have injured players, at the end of a moment, the human being cannot sustain for a long, 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 long time. You know, play every three, three, four days. But at the same time, we are an incredible competitive mindset on our players for experience, and they prove to us many, many years. And and every week is one week less to end of the season. So the now is seven games, Premier League, and you know it's it's closer. And that's why the, all the players make an exceptional effort to try to 
to, to continue to do it. <laughs> I mean, with Kevin, have you said he was out for four or five months? Does that mean he's really quite fresh at this stage of the season? For you? Yeah, mentally for sure. Mentally for sure. Which, which must give you an, a, another advantage from previous seasons to, to having to having far like that. Well, I know because maybe Kevin is like every was, especially Kevin when he's. I listen to him in the bus, in the locker room, and the training session, laugh and other. We are safe. His body language just dictate a lot how how he is, and and that's all. So, <laughs> and, but every all the players, but especially Kevin, and hopefully get sustain it this last part of the season. But it's not just it's how many years have been with us nine years, ten years in Man City. The numbers, the presence, the consistency, the have been amazing so it's one of the best players the all our history of Man City for sure 100, 100 goals now as well which is quite a quite a record yeah goals and involving assets in other goals a lot so what can I say the first goal is unbelievable the the the, the fourth is unbelievable the assets for Nerling so yeah really good really really good I just had an embargo for 10.30 until the evening <coughs> please